Good morning, my beautiful friends. We are going to start off with making a nice charcoal sausage bun. And we're going to make this nice and soft, but it's going to have a really nice crust to it. I am going to use half whole wheat, and we're going to use half a regular all-purpose flour. And you're going to say, why do you keep using charcoal in your bread? Well, charcoal is very good for us because we tend to uh, pick up a lot of heavy metals that we really don't want in our bodies. So the mm -hmm. best thing to do is always do a little bit of charcoal once in a while. And anything toxic, it also removes that. So it's a good thing to do once in a while. Just add a little bit of charcoal either in some water or in your food. And it's going to do the thing for you. So I'm starting off with two cups of flour. Okay, so let's try maybe half. I'm going to try half a tablespoon. About half a tablespoon. You can't really tell because everything's so dark in here. We're going to try half a tablespoon to start. There we go. And if we need it a little darker, we will. But it doesn't have to be completely black, black, black either. I mean, it's nice, like when I do my uh, black charcoal pizza. But if you don't want it completely black, it doesn't really have to be. It could be a nice gray color. Uh, to this, I am going to put one package of yeast. And if someone has yeast loose, one package, I think it's about two and a quarter or two and a half. There we go, one package of yeast. Okay, so we're going to add to this some maple sugar. And what the maple does is it just helps uh, the yeast start doing its magic. And then it's going to start taking care of the flour, which makes it easier for us to digest and taste. So we're going to put about, let's say about a tablespoon of maple syrup. Now, I use maple syrup because it's healthier for you, but you can use regular cane sugar. White sugar, you know, is not vegan unless you're from Montreal. Lucky us. Ours is vegan. But I know a lot of white sugar is you uh, is been made with bone chart. So... It's not really vegan. So if you want to use cane sugar, you can. If you want to use brown sugar, um, but not regular brown sugar, because that's basically white sugar with molasses and stuff. But you can use maybe molasses. You can use anything that's a little more natural. I prefer the maple syrup because I'm from Canada and Quebec. We have lots of maple syrup. Okay, so uh, maple. I don't put salt. I put maple my, my flour, my charcoal. I'm going to put some olive oil. Here we go. I'd say about maybe three tablespoons of olive oil. And now I'm going to get some nice warm water. Okay, so I'm using warm, warm water. A little warmer than warm. I'm just going to push my machine over for you. I'm sure you can see it. There you go. And I am going to start turning this. And I'll tell you exactly how much I'm using. on some parchment paper. I've got a pizza stone that I'm going to put down under so I can make this more mobile or you can, if you don't have a pizza stone, you can use any kind of pizza tray. I am just going to put a little sprinkle of flour. Now what I did use was 
basically I used uh, just under a cup of warm water to two uh, let me just squeeze my fingers first to um, two cups of flour but my flour is never just perfect a perfect cup my flour is always a little heaping guys it's never perfect it's never one cup perfect now this is a very soft dough so it's basically like making ciabatta bread now normally ciabatta bread we let it rise for a very long time but we're going to be speeding this one up a little but I will have all my ingredients marked there for you guys okay I'm just going to put this aside my hands are greased there we go and now I have an oven where I'm able to proof in yeah, maybe I'll cut it in, make my life a little easier. There we go. And this is a good hint if you're making pizza dough because it really doesn't make your pizza stick anywhere. Or bread dough, in this case. Okay, so there we go. We are just going to grease it. And grease the top. And I'm going to put this for proofing guys. I'm going to put it in my oven, but if you don't have an oven that proofs, I would say uh, use, um, I would say to use um, a warm place where you can make this rise nicely. Um, look how soft this dough is. You want this dough to be super soft. That's why there's almost a cup of water in here, but you have to play it by ear. If you see that your um, if you see that your dough is too um, too wet, then add a little extra um, extra flour to it. Uh, it's just a matter of getting used to working with a soft dough. But we're going to make some beautiful buns that we're going to put some sausages that we're going to be making next. So I'm going to put this to proof. Double the size, punch it down, let it rise again, punch it down. We'll see how many times I can do it before I'm going to cook my buns. But there you go. Very simple, simple recipe. And if you want this even softer, instead of using water, you can use warm milk. Almond milk, guys. Don't use animal milk. It's not good for you or the poor babies that don't get a chance to drink it. Those baby cows, that milk is for them. So I am going to put this to proof and we're going to start working on some sausage. And look at this beautiful dough. I am going to just slowly, here we go, push it down. Look how easy it is on parchment. If you're not using parchment, your dough is going to be a sticky mess everywhere. Uh, I also make this, sometimes I let it rise in my stand mixer, but it sticks everywhere. So if you use a little bit of parchment, I'm telling you, this is a gift for us. If you use a little parchment, it's going to rise perfect. So remember to rise it as much as you can. And then we're going to divide this dough and we're going to make buns for our sausage. Okay, guys, I punched it down one more time and now I'm going to cut them down. Um, into smaller sizes so we can make uh, long long buns and then they're gonna grow like double its size take this dough and put it on another board so I can cut it and then put it back on on my stone actually I'm just going to push this over this is what happens when you don't have enough space guys okay here we go We're going to cut this. I'll show you what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to grease my... Yeah, let me just push this away. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my stone in the oven because I want my stone 
uh, nice and hot later. But I am going to put this on a different, maybe on a tray for now, and then I'll just slip it on the stone. It's going to make my life easier. Okay, so nice and greased. And now I'm putting a little bit of corn meal, coarse corn meal on my stone. So when I put my, uh, my bread, it's going to be perfect on there. So. I'm just going to cut it and then show you how it's going to look. Okay, we're going to cut this in half. Then we're going to cut that in half. Then we're going to cut this in half. And we're going to cut it this way and this way. So we're going to take this, put it on a flower board, and we're just going to make it that length. If I had the right tool to cut it, it would be even better, but it is what it is, right guys? You know what, if your bread isn't perfect, that's okay too, because it's nice when it's a little rustic. back into my it's gonna go right back into my oven back to proof there we go and then I'm gonna show you when I'm ready to cook these buns up so i'll see you in a bit okay guys i just want to show you my ciabatta bread so far it's been proofing in the oven and now i've preheated my oven for 450 uh, degrees fahrenheit and i am going to uh, let my stone heat up for at least a good 30 minutes and then i'm going to put my bread in here we go i've got this on my peel hopefully i'll be able to put this without losing anything in the oven I just want to show you I have a bowl of water there that's gonna help make this you think I could do this guys let's see if I could do this look at that did I get it yay okay so we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes See you in a little bit. Okay, we're back, guys. Oh. Here it is. A little bit of mayo. Some romaine. There we go. A nice sausage and we're gonna put a couple of these beautiful sun-dried tomatoes did I just say sun-dried tomatoes these beautiful roasted cherry tomatoes there we go just a little extra on top and there is our beautiful dog in some nice flat ciabatta type bread that I made fresh, it didn't take long, and that's how simple it is to dress this, this sausage. And if you give it a try, come back, let me know how you like it, 
And guess what guys, I'll see you in my next video.